Welcome to episode number 5 of Rise of the Fenice. Today it will be time to break the live com curse. Or will it? I certainly hope so. We will see about that later. I can't wait to fill you in with our results since you, since you saw us last time. Today we will be playing at home at Cupola di Fenice once again in our beautiful home kit against Farora as you see on the screen. And their home kit has been one of the most popular home kits, or kits overall in this database. I'm getting a lot of feedback on this database and certainly for the kits as well. And this Farora home kit and also the Kimo Piratas kits have been one of the most popular ones overall. But I love my Fenice Jagadentia home kit. Now we're talking about shirts. I am for this episode today wearing my throwback Palermo shirt which is in a slim fit edition so I am happy I'm not standing up. But that is not important today. Today our only goal is to win a freaking live com. Let me fill you in how we've been doing since last time. And please stop a moment just to take a look at that beautiful custom made The Mad Scientist transition. That will hopefully not be the last time you'll see that. I'm going to fire away with that transition. It's just so awesome. Here is an overview of how we are doing. We are in the quarterfinals of the Cospire Cup and we are still in first position in the Cospire Serie B. And we now have made a break. We now have 9 points to AC Cadencia, who is our fierce rivals. Can't wait to take them on for the next next time. Let's take a look at the results. Last time we you saw last time you saw us play was against where are we? La Lucha Forte. I can just look at the, the draw in the table because it was against Forota Forte. We weren't able to get that live com victory. But of course, offline, we have one against Lizard, Squally, 4-2 against Anachichi, Reale Misas, 5-1. We had an unfortunately draw against Pista Sestro, who so far maybe is our bogey team, to be honest. If we take a look at our two past meetings, it's been two boring draws. We can't break that down Pista Sestro's defense. Then we beat Kimo Athletic 3-1, and then we beat Larinuja AC 6-3 in the Cospian Third Cup third round of the Cospire Cup. Today it is against Farora. And nothing, no one of these teams has any one of us, has anything on us. We've been superb playing at the moment. Farora is in, let me see, they're in 13th position in the league, so there shouldn't be a threat, but they do have one thing on us. They have beaten us. We lost to Farora last time, 2-1 when we played at Farora. And if we take a look in the league, how many matches have we lost overall? We lost four matches against Bisonti, AC Cadencia, Farora and Larinuccia. Two of those was online live comms and that is something we're going to break today. But Farora has won victory against us. We will hopefully change that today. Let me give you a team report and show you how the guys are doing. This is my ideal lineup at the moment. Some things have changed, some things are ha as they have been for most season. The defense as we know it, Spinazzola, quality goalkeeper, the young Rossi at left back, the young Perin, Storaro, Alagia. So important, he's been all season long, now it's 10 assists in 23 matches. He's a fantastic player for us. In midfield, Rogani, all season long, he's the hard-working midfielder, tireless midfielder. Almost getting a 7.0 rating, that will be his goal. Just to assist, it's not his job, he's just working hard midfield. Alongside Gagliani, who's now up to 8 assists. His two goals is, one of, is uh, two of the most important goals in this season, been scored. On the wingers, we have Safari, been playing all season long. 7 goals, 12 assists now. He's been great, and Chiapa has been playing the right wing all season, but as I showed you last episode, Masotto. He don't look like much, but my my, he's playing fantastic. Most of this coming from substitutions. He, there's something special about Masotto, and I've played him on the right wing with success, and also up front. But as you see, Anone is now having a new teammate besides him, Heberkamp has won the starting role, the 21-year-old Englishman from Notch County, 
now starting to score some goals and playing some great matches. He scored five goals in one match, and that was in the cup in the big victory against Ladinuccia, 6-2. Take a look at some of these goals from Heberkam. He was really, really efficient in that match. So he's our starter, besides our top scorer, Santino Annone, 28 years old, perfect, perfect striker. He will be good enough for the Serie A, I'm sure. It's now 80, it's now, sorry, it's now 28 games with 21 goals. He's just been banging up the goals like a madman. This guy is taking us to the Serie A. As I said, we've been making a break in the league. Hopefully we can cruise this home and more important, hopefully we can get that live com victory today against Farola. Let's take a look at Farola. We jump over to the official Cospire database website where we find in the team's category Farola Football Club. Farola is based in the city Terra Nullius, which I will show you where it is on the map in the moment. The stadium is, being, is called La Antica, the Antique, with a capacity of 50,000. 50,000 people at the max. That's a big stadium for the Serie B team. And this is the three kits. Really, really awesome work from FM Custom Kits. But let's take a look at the map. On the map, we will have to find Farora in the region of Terra di Nessuno, where Terra Nolios is the capital of this region. This Terra Nolios also is meaning no man's land. And this is a really special part of the country. It's crazy weather. It's, there's not living a lot of people. Terra Nolios has a big club. Let's take a look at the, the region. If we scroll down to Hero Terra di Nesono, is combined of two cities. Terra Nolios, as I said, was the biggest city with a population of 80,000. Terra Nolios has a club in the Serie A and Farora in the Serie B. Drutonia is also a part of the region, Terra di Nesono. Drutonia, very dark place. We are going to take a look at the Farora team. They are right now 13th in the league and let's take a look at some of the players. Massimo Rossi, 22 years old, attacking midfielder, playing on the wingers, he's a quick one. Then we have Daniele Pavesi, 27, he's a defensive midfielder, also a central midfielder, he looks strong. Who else to have an eye out for? Maybe Stefano Mariani, 24 years old, he looks interesting, really, really versatile player. And we do have a defender with the name Antonello Rebuffi, 22 years old, he looks alright, not a scary team overall, and they have a goalkeeper where they're going with the young one, Sosio Tramutola, 20 years old, he actually looks really interesting, what a guy we have here, Sosio Tr Tramutola, he looks excellent, but not, not, not a scary team to be honest. It should be today that we could get that victory in a live comp. Let's go. And here we go. One man who should be hot today, that is Steven Heberkam. Just scored five goals in the cup in the last match against Ladinuccia AC, who we lost against in the opening match of the season, so that was a great win. Here is Alakia finding Masotto. Masotto has won that starting position at right wing over Chiappa. Chiappa have been playing absolutely great this season, but I don't think Chiappa will be good enough for the Serie A, so I am working on Masotto. So see if we can get him improved here. Could we get a, a counter from Masotto? Will he play the ball to Anone? He can't miss that one. Anone is the goal scorer, the top scorer with the 23rd goal of the season. Assist for Masotto. Perfect setup, perfect break on the counter. Safari with the long pass for Masotto, lots of space for him. Dragging over the defender, Anone on his own, he won't miss that one. 10 minutes in, 1-0 for Fenice against Farora. But I won't jinx this, I won't jinx this yet, but good start. Pierini with a throw in for Vioria. Now cross into the box, we clear it, that is Sturaro. Farora in ball possession, Marangon, Ficania. Here is Rossi, what a player that is. He's been excellent, the 18 year old left back. Gacchiani tries to find Anone. That's always a good idea. Here comes Farora, Voria, trying to get the cross in. All the way over to Cassano, he will finish. Not even close. As always, our fierce ri ri rivals, AC Academia, up against Viton Emporium. 
had made that break in the league. Now up with nine points. It's now up to us to mess it up ourselves. Or just to take it home and get that promotion in the first season. Herin for Gagliani. We are in ball possession. Ball up forward. We just want to try to find Anon all the time. Rossi on a one-man raid. Ball ends up with Allegretti. What a finish on the crossbar. What a finish. And they've actually been quite good, Farola, after we scored the 1 0 goal. That was a big chance. 1 0 up at halftime. That is not bad at all. But Farola has proven to be dangerous. They have broken down our defense a couple of times. But we should be in control for this one. Well, let's continue, guys. 50 50 in ball possession so far. We need to take over that part and control the game in the second half. Here is Farora in ball position and we take it from them. Here is Anone and that could look like a red card. He has a yellow already, Lucini. He will be out of here. And just like our last live com, we will be 11 against 10 men for the rest of this match. Alakia, can he get across in? Who will he find? He will score his first goal of the season. The magnificent as man of the assists get that first goal, Filippo Alakia, and 2-0 it is. Look at him, suddenly he just had so much room, he could, he could have crossed if, if he wanted, but this time it opened up, scoring with the at the first post, great goal for Alakia, it's 2-0 against Farora in a live car. Now I will substitute in Chiapa so we get uh, some rest for Safari. We will uh, bring out Claudio Rossi on the left back. He's on a yellow card now. Betazzi will cover for him. And we will move on. Not a game with a lot of highlights, but here is maybe one. Gacchiani tries to find a striker for us. Duraro, Pirin. Betazzi finds Anone. He will score from that position. It's 3-0. Great assist from Betazzi. Beautiful assist. He managed to find Anone with that pass from the left fullback. Storaro, Perin. Here is Betazzi. Looks up. Anone with the perfect run. And he won't miss that one. It's 3-0. This should be home. This should be a secure victory now. Pizzacci will not throw in, Gagliani on the ball, great pass for Alakia, he needs that assist for today, there it is, and it is Gagliani who put, puts it in for 3-0, for 4-0, his third goal of the season, and you could just see it at Alakia, I need my daily assist, let me find a player who comes in the perfect run, Gagliani, he's so great at that run for midfield, third time this season, we have 4-0, it could look like we are breaking the spell right now, here and now, live, calm and all. And let's get the clean sheet. I would like a clean sheet in a match like this. No need to get sloppy. Gagliani working great. Breaking up the play. Alakia now in ball possession. He will counter it. He's thinking one way and that is forward and he gets a penalty. Look at that guy, Filippo Alakia. He should take that penalty. But if we give it to Anone, the top scorer will, couldn't hit the target. What was that, Anone? That was your chance for a hat-trick. He has made a couple of hat-tricks this season. But missing that one, but Filippo Alakia, just look at how many chances he's creating. Finally backing one goal today. Magnificent player. Absolutely ready for the Serie A label, level as well, I'm sure. And we're not finished yet. Masotto, Anone. Anone with the pass into the box, but they managed to clear it this time. The young Farola goalkeeper has had a tough day on the job. Our goalkeeper still has the clean sheet. Great play by us, Petazzi, Masotto. Great pass for Alakia, he could get his second. This has been an Alakia game. I'm so happy you finally see a live com where he's scoring and assist and all. He has, to be fair, made some assists in, in some live comms, but offline he's been magnificent. Look at this raid now, but we do have Barella, the substituted Barella on the, on the right fullback with a beautiful tackle. I will like to get that clean sheet in a match like this. 
We get the we got the ball possession. 18 shots, 10 on target. Finally, finally we get a live calm where we are in control. We are dominating just like we're doing offline. I like ya. Man of the match in my books. He must be player of the match in this game. Fantastic game from Alakia. Where is he Alakia? He should be the man of the match. No doubt about it. Alakia on form as Fenice score easy victory. That is to say it mildly. What what a game from Alakia. Fantastic. We now are to 70 points. We have 12 points down to number 2. Our fierce rivals from AC Academia. Finally we managed to break the spell and win a live com in a beautiful fashion. 4-0. A magnificent display by Filippo Lacchia. Absolutely beautiful. What I will do now is I will play some games offline. Just three matches because in four matches it will be the Battle of Academia version number two. Last time they beat us 2-1 at our home Cupola, Cupola di Fenice this time we will travel to their home ground Arena di Accadencia for the Battle of Accadencia and if I'm not mistaken that's a pretty huge stadium 65,000 capacity stadium Arena di Accadencia will be the host for the Battle of Accadencia version 2 now this looks like we can take this home and get that promotion so this will be the last match I'm worrying about for this season but I will be back with that battle of Agadensia version 2 hopefully now we break the spell of live comms now hopefully we can get a win against our rivals and it had be has been a perfect season gaining that promotion And there it was again. Do I love that the mad scientist stinger transition. It's fucking brilliant work. And until next time, I will play three games as I showed you. We will be in top position when we come back next time. AC Academia will probably be in, in the runners up in second position. And we will take that battle of Academia and take it home to Fenice. So this will be a perfect season overall. Finally getting that promotion at the end. Can't wait to see you next time, win that battle of, of Akadensia it is, and now we have broke the curse of live comms with a 4-0 victory against Farola. Love to see that stuff. Thank you for tuning in guys, check out the outro, see you soon. <laughs>